The world-famous Grand Canyon is missing rocks. What's the big deal you can say? But here is something you don't know. These missing rocks have been there for over a billion years. If you observe the picture of the Grand Canyon from 1.4 billion years ago and 520 million years ago, you can observe this phenomenon. So, what exactly is happening at the Grand Canyon? Let's waste no time and get to know more. After being driven off their territory, the Havasupai tribe is now in the Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon has been home to the Havasupai tribe for a very long time. They occupy a huge area extending east from Bill Williams Mountain to the tiny Colorado River. The Supai tribe resided on the Colorado Plateau, far from the Grand Canyon to the east of the Moncopi Wash. They encountered their first European explorers when they reached the canyon and followed the road carved out by the Hopi Havasupai and prehistoric Pueblones in the late 1800s. The Havasupai were relocated to a 518-acre reservation in Havasu Canyon when the National Park Service forcibly made them leave. The Supai tribe received 18,500 acres of land in the canyon and along its rim from the government in 1975. The tribe now subsists on agriculture, tourism, and paid employment. Grand Canyon uranium mining can be hazardous to individuals. The Grand Canyon contains uranium, but the radiation level is low, making it safe for tourists to visit. However, there are abandoned mines in the Grand Canyon that can present a threat to the local populace. When the uranium craze returned, many returned to the Grand Canyon region to resume mining but uranium mining was outlawed for 20 years on a million acres surrounding the Grand Canyon. Strange traits of the Mogollon monster spotted in the Grand Canyon. A monster known as the Mogollon monster has had reported sightings near the Grand Canyon. I.W. Stevens reported the existence of the Mogollon monster for the first time in 1903, claiming it had a long white beard and white hair on its head. According to legend, the Mogollon monster is seven feet tall has black or reddish hair, and is missing its face, breast, feet, and hands. It also has large 22-inch long prints on its feet and a foul odor. Most hikers and campers in the region claim that the Mogollon monster used to visit them at night and take care of business on its own. Several people have heard long whistles and wood pounding coming from the woods. Museum in Tuxin displays a 12,000-year-old Arizona settlement. The Tuxin ruins lie three miles west of Desert Viewpoint, the easternmost entrance to the Grand Canyon. The museum and the ruined site make up both of them. Several displays that educate tourists about the archaeological site are located close to the remains of this old village. The Tuxin Ruins Museum is the most comprehensive piece of an archaeological study in the region surrounding the Grand Canyon, where people have lived for more than 12,000 years. Chester sloth dung is discovered by scientists in a Colorado canyon. A 500-pound Chester ground sloth that had been extinct for more than 10,000 years was known to frequent a rampart cave in the canyon, which was discovered by scientists. Radiocarbon dating was used to examine the poo, which revealed the diet of the animal and the local flora. Due to dams and other man-made factors, the Colorado River is going to run dry. People are researching the Grand Canyon's history, which has been discovered. The Grand Canyon condors used to consume extinct species, which could have also killed the birds, and the Colorado River is on the verge of drying out. The Colorado River originates in the Rocky Mountains and travels through canyons, deserts, and waterfalls before entering the Gulf of California near the Grand Canyon. Scientists have discovered that the river will dry up if the proper actions aren't performed. Environmentalists believe that the Colorado River has become less healthy as a result of damming and rerouting. The Grand Canyon River still flows smoothly, although there is much less water than there used to be. White water rafters in the Grand Canyon should book their trips as soon as possible, according to environmentalists who believe that dams and river redirection are the main causes of this. Scientists have discovered proof that prehistoric reptiles once roamed the Grand Canyon. One was discovered in the Grand Canyon by Alan Krill. Alan Krill noticed a pebble that appeared to have footprints on it. Stephen Rowland examined the photos he sent him after he had taken them and discovered that they were fossilized relics of prehistoric life. Rowland hypothesized that the 313-million-year-old fossil track 
might have come from an amniote, an animal that produces eggs with tough shells. Because the footprint was isolated from the mana catcher, it was in good condition. Two sets of footprints were discovered on a rock, and scientists were able to determine that they were formed 330 million years ago. In addition, Roland observed two distinct reptiles moving diagonally through the area. One of the reptiles, roughly a foot long and walking in what is known as a lateral sequence, was another thing he observed. This is significant because it demonstrates how early in the history of vertebrates, the lateral sequence gate was used. What do you think about Grand Canyon? Share your thoughts in the comments and subscribe the channel for more awesome videos like this. See you in the next one.